Hello viewers, today we are going to learn how to do a simple manicure. Manicure basically is the treatment of the uh, hands and fingers, fingernails. I've arranged the tools and products that we need for today's lessons. As you can see, I have my manicure set. I'm not going to use all the tools here. I'm just going to pick a few which are required. And also we have a surgical spirit here. This one, most of the time it's used when you're cleaning your tools because they're metal, you don't have to put them in the in a lukewarm water. And we'll also have, we'll need a massage oil, uh, whereby we are going to, we are going to show you how to do it and how to use it. We'll also need an antiseptic for germs and dirt to disinfect uh, the water, and also we'll need a scrub. This one we are going to use it to exploit this, uh, the dry skin of your client. We'll also use a uh, moisturizer, which is lanolin cream. This one gives the cuticles. It softens up the cuticles. And uh, we'll also need our polish remover. This one you're going to first use it while we are removing our client's uh, polish on the nails. And also, uh, as for the client's choice, you may also uh, need the required polish that she needs. And uh, last but not least, you need your hand wash, whereby you're going to start off with this ones. And uh, the files that you're going to use and also the cotton. As we go on, we are going to show you each uh, product and tools, how we are going to use them. Our table is set and uh, we have, as you can see, we have an extra towel. This one is used to place your client's wrist where she can put her wrist to rest. And then we have a bowl, a hand bowl whereby you're going to use to wash your hand, the client's hands. Uh, we've had, we've put uh, lukewarm water, make sure it's not hot or cold. So this one we're going to use it to clean our client's hands. Now, uh, we've used our hand wash. It's an antibacterial hand wash. Once it's done, you put your hand bowl aside. And you take a clean hand towel. You just use it to dry off the hands, make sure it's clean. Just make a blot, then you put it aside. So as you can see, our client's hands are clean and uh, fingernails. So where, where we are going to start, we are going to start by removing the polish. We'll begin with removing the polish that she has. If she doesn't have the polish, well, you're going to start by trimming the nails. So today we are going to show you how to remove the polish. From underneath, support your client's fingers. Rub it off gently. Using your nail polish remover, make sure you support your client's fingers by holding it underneath and you pick one by one. Continue with the same method until all the fingers are done. As you can see, we are almost done with our first hand. As for the thumb, make sure you go side to side because sometimes the polish doesn't come out from side. 
So try to make sure that you've managed to remove the polish from sides. You take the next round. Normally you'll find uh, when one is using a darker polish, it's very difficult to come out first round. So you go through the second round. Basically why we remove the polish is because our client, she's come for a manicure treatment. So that means if she has any old polish, you have to get rid of it. And uh, uh, you have to get rid of it, then from there you start your treatment af afresh. The polish is already removed, so what we want to do right now is to trim. You put your, your file aside. Make sure you have a nail cutter. And always try to communicate with your client whereby if you, the nails needs to be trimmed, you ask her. You don't just trim the nails of a client. You ask her if it's okay, then you get them trimmed. If it's not okay, you just shape them up. So in this case, we are going to trim them. Since she wants to keep her old her nails long, you don't have to trim them so much. You try to make sure that uh, the length are uh, the length is okay and uh, they are the same. So try not to trim them so much, just a little bit. Always make sure you hold your nail cutter and support it with your thumb and sometimes when the nails are too short be very careful because you might end up cutting your client's uh, nails and uh, also the skin and we don't want that to happen now depending with your client's choice of shape that she requires. Again, you ask whatever the shape it is that she wants, and from there after your agreement, that's the time you start filing your nails, your client's nails. Now, the reason why we do a filing, it's because we want to keep them well uh, shaped and uh, well organized. So in this case, our client, she wants them uh, to be carved, so we are going to start side and side. Never do a sewing by doing like this, especially if you want to achieve a certain shape that the client wants. As we continue doing like this, remember not to be, uh, try to be gentle while you're doing this because sometimes with the friction, it gives a client the friction and it's not very comfortable. We continue with the filing from side. You do the same method for all fingers. Our nails are, f are well filed. The next step, we're going to use a buffer. Basically, uh, with the buffer, they ha we have four different sides, whereby if you touch, there's a filling, there's a rough filling with the sides. Each side has its own uh, work. So what we are going to do to do right now, we're going to use the smoothening side 
and balance it with a more, more smoother side. So we are going to start with this side. Since she doesn't have uh, any uh, difficult polish that she had on or acrylic nails, what you're going to use instead of buffing like this, you're going to buff like this. You start from the matrix. You continue doing like this until your last finger. When we when we buff our client's nails, it gives it a smoother look, and also it may it gives you an easy time while applying your polish. We are going to repeat this with the same same side. Try to be a bit gentle on your client's nails. We change sides. This one is going to give it a more shinier look. Basically, we are polishing the nail. More smoother and shiny. We put that aside. Once you're done buffing the nails, uh, you take your lanolin cream. This one moisturizes the nails and also softens the cuticles. Again, you support, always support your client's fingers one by one. Once you've applied that one, if you have any remaining on your hand, you simply get rid of it. So once you're done applying uh, your, your moisturizing cream, which is the lanolin, this one helps to soften, uh, to soften the cuticles and it makes it easier for you to remove them without any struggles. And also it moisturizes the nails. Make sure you have your fresh lukewarm water. Remember, we, the, we used, uh, while we were starting, we had the client wash her hands. So this time we're going to exchange the water and make sure that it's fresh and uh, use a disinfectant. Always use your antiseptic to disinfect the water. Then mix well and always test the water if it's lukewarm. Place your client's fingers. You give it two to five minutes so that it can soak well. 